Also with this video series that presents a CRUD method for Google Sheets from App Inventor 2 using a Google Web application. CRUD stands for Create, Read, Update and Delete. After the previous two videos which explains how to read and how to delete records, this video shows how to update the records of a Google Sheet. To start, go to the Google Apps Script Editor and add the update function to the code.js file. This code is used to return the currently active worksheet, or null if there is none. Query the first worksheet in the workbook. Creates a two-dimensional array containing the objects that match the parameters of the request. Access and edit a range on the worksheet. This range is a group of adjacent cells that begins with column B and ends with column F. The line number is retrieved from the id parameter. Indeed, we use the parse int function which parses a string and returns an integer. Then we add one. Column A groups together the identifiers which are considered in our case as primary keys. So this column is excluded. We insert the data using the setValues function. This function takes an array of arrays as an argument. The size of the two-dimensional array should match the size of the range. Make sure you publish the script as a web app, so that it runs as you, the owner of the Google Sheet, but to be accessed by anyone, even anonymous, and update to a new version and republish every time you make a change to the script. Now, in the App Inventor part, Add the update button and the web component not visible to the interface. As soon as the user clicks on the update button, the program executes an HTTP GET request using the URL property and retrieves the response. This URL is composed by the global URL seen in the previous videos. The func parameter with the value update. The id parameter which is obtained following the selection of an item from the list view by the user and the parameters first, last, gender, country and age which are present in text box. Let's change this person's age. We put 40 instead of 32. To delete or update records, queries need the identifier parameter. This parameter is obtained as soon as the user selects an element from the VL list. For this, it is better to put the two buttons delete and update in disable state and activate it as soon as an item in the list view is selected You can also create a function that allows you to empty the input fields after reading, deleting or updating.